shown by red colored shown by this red colored and shown by this red pen should be visible as well as this this green colored square prism should be clearly visible so i hope the solution is clear to you here this is front view this is side view and this is top view and this red colored dotted line represents the upper edge of this solid similarly upper edge of this solid is here which is inside this green colored prism so represented by the dotted line in this side view. you can write the name of views say this is front view like this this is side view and this is top view so that is problem number 1 this we have seen three views now compare these three views this is the final answer you can compare these three views in the isometric view this view this one is to be compared with this one similarly this side view could be compared with this side view this is drawn view and this is actual view similarly this is top view and this is top view <coughs> so that is problem number 1 now let we draw example number 2 and the data is given like this a cylinder diameter 100 mm and height 200 mm resting on its circular base on horizontal plane it is penetrated by another cylinder 100 mm diameter having axis parallel to both the planes that is hp and vp axis of both the cylinders bisects each other draw front view top view and side view showing curves of intersection here two solids are given and both are cylinders and the specification of both the cylinders are given by its diameter and length or height and both are intersecting each other in such a way that the axis of both the solids are at right angle and both the diameters are equal so there may be few cases based on this case this is the isometric view of given case one red colored cylinder is in standing position another green colored cylinder is penetrating to this solid and its isometric view would appear and its side its, its front view would appear as shown here in front view here this curve of intersection would appear as a cross mark only no curvature shape would be there this is another example of intersection of two cylinders where diameters are are not equal here you can see the diameter of standing cylinder is higher than the diameter of penetrating cylinder so in that case the curvature shape would be there like this this is the case here you can see if you remove this cylinder this would be the vacant space and that also to be covered in the intersection of solid such kind of problem we will discuss later now let we find out the possible configuration of the intersection of two cylinders these are the possible configurations when two cylinders intersect each other the first is this intersection of two cylinders having the same diameter and intersecting at right angles to each other intersection of two cylinders having the same diameter and intersecting at an angle other than a right angle or at any other angle then another case intersection of two cylinders having the different diameter and intersecting at intersecting at right angles diameters are different or the diameters are different and they are intersecting at certain angle so these are the four cases and out of these four cases here the first case is there in which the diameter of two cylinders are equal let me draw this problem over here now to draw this problem in which two diameters are equal it would like this so here first we draw cylinders or circles having diameter which is given in the data as 100 mm this diameter is drawn 50 mm because we have used the reduced scale so this diameter is 100 mm this diameter is 100 mm now let we draw its views so for front view of this solid from here we take projection of line we project that line and here the rectangle in front view 
is its front view so this cylinder will appear as a rectangle in its front view as shown over here similarly in side view also it would appear as a rectangle by drawing meter line or by taking projection we can transfer the points in this side view and we can draw this side view which is rectangle like this so these are the three views of this cylinder vertical cylinder now to draw three views of this horizontal cylinder let me take projection from here a line from this end like this so from here from here to here it is fully visible here also fully visible and inside it is not visible so represented by the dotted line like this similarly from here full line up to this end full line up to this end and dotted line in this segment so this represents the position of penetrating cylinder this cylinder penetrates inside the horizontal vertical cylinder so this shows the position of penetrating cylinder in front view similarly in top view also we can draw its position like this it would be just a rectangle in top view as represented over here here also we can use meter line and we can transfer the points and could be drawn its front view in top view now what's about the points of intersection so for that let we use the concept of meter line and find out the points of intersection so for that first we draw the axis of this solid that is this is the axis whenever you draw axis of any solid here small plus should be there at the middle at the center like this long dash should be away from that that is standard notation like this so here small plus should be there in say in that way you have to draw the center line or axis now this is side view in the side view we can divide this side view into equal number of parts like this say for easiness and conveniency we have divided this circle into eight equal number of parts say the, he, this is point number 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 8 points are there over the outside periphery of this cylinder now from this points let we take the projection to its top view like this by taking meter line and drawing the meter line it would come somewhere over here of course you have to draw these points with the help of meter line which is not drawn over here let we draw it for easy understanding this line is called the projection line and this projection line cuts the meter line somewhere here and the meter line makes an angle of 45 degree with xy line this line is called as meter line so now let me pick up this point from this point draw straight vertical line it will cut this meter line somewhere here and from that it will cut the cylinder somewhere here so these are the two points now this line will cut the circle at two points one point is here another point is here similarly we have picked up two points in top view similarly from this point draw straight horizontal line like this or projection from this point it would appear like this one would be here another would be from point number 7 that would be somewhere here so these are the lines from these points generators imaginary generators drawn over the outside outside periphery of this cylinder now to pick up those points from this point draw straight vertical line like this and from this point also draw straight vertical line an intersection of this vertical line and this horizontal line would be one point one point is here another point is here similarly from these two points again transfer to this upper upper generator that will cut somewhere here so here one point is here one point would be here so these are the points similarly this point point number 2 is here from this point draw straight vertical line transfer it to the meter line 
it will cut metal line somewhere here from that metal line draw straight horizontal line it will cut the cylinder over here from that draw straight vertical line from here also draw straight vertical line so horizontal line from point 2 and vertical line from this point would be here so these are the points of intersection 1 2 3 and 4 now about this middle point how to find out position of this middle point so for that from this point number 4 draw straight vertical line that will cut metal line somewhere here transfer that point to here it will cut the cylinder somewhere here exactly at this point from that point draw straight vertical line in horizontal line from point from this point both will cut at this midpoint so these are the points of intersection and now we have to join all these points with the smooth curve but all these points are collinear are on the same line so we can join them with the straight lines as well so this shows the curve of intersection for this solid and after drawing this we have to insert the dimensions you can see here these dotted lines would be there because this upper edge of this red colored cylinder will not appear so it is inside this vertical cylinder hence this edge is represented by the dotted line now insert the dimension as we know this is the diameter of the cylinder and diameter of the cylinder is given as 100 millimeter so we have to write here 5 one zero zero so diameter is 100 millimeter of course this is 50 millimeter but we have to insert the actual dimension similarly here also 500 millimeter or 500 because 100 millimeter is the diameter similarly the dimension of this height here it is 110 so total height would be sorry 100 so total height is 200 millimeter which is given in the data Similarly, this width is also 200 millimeter. And as we have reduced the scale by 1 as to 2, you can write here scale. It's a reduced scale. You can write here, or you should write 1 gem 2. It's compulsory to express this scale because it's a reduced scale. So this is the solution of given problem. These are the views which we have solved, front view, side view and top view of given intersection which clearly represents the basics and uh, what should be the shape of the solid that is represented here by three views. This is front view, front view, side view, top view and this is an isometric view. This is a comparison of the drawing which we have drawn. This is the front view, which collide, which is this one. This is side view, which is this one. This top view is not here, which is drawn over here. That we have drawn. Now, some aspects, concepts of intersection of surfaces. After discussing these two problems, we can conclude some aspects based on intersection of surfaces. The intersection of two solid surfaces results in the formation of a line of intersecting intersection at the joint where the solids intersect or penetrate to each other. The line of intersection is also known as transition line and there are three types of lines of intersection. That is the types of lines of intersection are this one. The first is the straight line. The straight line intersection results when two solids having flat surfaces such as prism and pyramid. The curved line would be there. So, curved line intersection results when solids having curved surfaces, for example, cylinders, cones, etc. They intersect at that time, the curvature line would be there. A combination of straight and curved lines would be there when intersection uh, when one of the intersecting solid is flat while the other one is curved. Means if one solid is flat and another is curvature shape, then this combination of straight and curved lines will be there. For example, intersection of prism and cylinder, intersection of cylinder and cone, intersection of cone and pyramid, cone and prism, etc. Now, third example based on this discussion, the data is given like this. A cylinder diameter 50 millimeter and height 200 millimeter resting on its circular base on horizontal plane. It is penetrated by another cylinder 
70 mm diameter having axis parallel to both the planes axis of both the cylinders bisect each other and 5 mm away from each other this line is new in our in this case draw front view top view and side view showing cause of intersection here the given data shows that two cylinders are there one cylinder is smaller another is bigger cylinder both are having different diameter and both are having axis right angle to each other but they are not bisecting they are at certain distance that is 5 mm away from each other so axis of one cylinder is 5 mm away from axis of another cylinder so this is the case here you can see one is vertical cylinder another is horizontal cylinder its front view would appear like this this is the front view of this combination this is the top view in top view it would appear like this and this would be its side view so these are the three views of this case and this is isometric view of the given case from another angle so here we have to draw this solution so how to draw the solution of this problem in which the axis of two solids are offset by given distance are not uh, passing through are not exactly passing through but the distance uh, is 5 mm which is given in the data so for that first we draw the first cylinder this circle which would appear as a circle this one this cylinder having diameter which is given in the data that is 50 mm similarly we draw three views of this cylinder similarly we draw this three view of this cylinder as well by drawing its axis which is at a distance of 5 mm from the axis of red colored vertical cylinder so it would the front view of this solid would result like this this is the front view now uh, and this is the side view of cylinder and axis of both the cylinders are at a distance of 5 mm so first we have to draw axis of this vertical cylinder this is the axis of vertical cylinder and from the axis of this vertical cylinder 